Hello. We're looking at a specimen of a segment of the vertebral column that has been longitudinally split, and we can see the cut surfaces of the alternating intervertebral discs and the vertebral bodies. So I want to draw your attention to three areas which appear abnormal on the cut surface of the vertebral bodies. One is here, which appears a little bit more solid, irregular, and tan. The other area is here, and another area is here. Let's take a closer look. On magnification, we can see that there is an irregular area uh, of a more solid appearing uh, cut surface that is tan in color as compared to the more porous bone. And this is an example of metastatic carcinoma involving the vertebral bodies. Here is the other abnormal area, and here again. Let's take a look at the side view, and we can also appreciate the abnormal appearance, both in terms of the slight color difference as well as the texture difference. It's a little bit more fleshy and solid as opposed to the porous um, cancellous bone. And here again is the abnormal area. So the diagnosis here happens to be metastatic nasopharyngeal carcinoma uh, in the vertebral bodies. And of course, there are many types of carcinomas that can metastasize to the bone. Some of the commoner culprits are kidney or renal cell carcinoma, lung cancer, prostate carcinoma, thyroid carcinoma, as well as breast carcinoma. Let's take a quick look at the histology for metastatic nasopharyngeal carcinoma. This is a fairly high magnification uh, picture showing in this region the tumour. So we have these syncytial sheets of malignant cells with relatively pale nuclei with prominent central nucleoli and ill-defined cytoplasm. And this is quite uh, characteristic of nasopharyngeal carcinoma, undifferentiated type. Here we can see some of the bony trabeculae uh, in the residual bone. In this patient, you can imagine that he may present with backache um, or even potentially uh, compression fractures. So there may be pathological fractures on minimal trauma. So in summary, this is a segment of the vertebral column that has been cut or split longitudinally and we can see several fleshy tan areas within the vertebral bodies which represents metastatic carcinoma, and the diagnosis here is metastatic nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Thank you.